this is Channel 5 Starlight News. My name is Madison Hart and I have news. I'm here reporting live from Pine Valley Middle School. I have asked millions of people around the world what their favorite question about space is. The most frequently asked question was about the life cycles of stars. Three of my most famous reporters are here to answer those questions. Madison, that was a very interesting segment. No problem, Mackenzie. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Watts and I have all your questions answered right here in this envelope. I have your first question of the week by Bob from Virginia. He asks, why are stars so interesting? And Bob, I have your answer, so please pay attention. Stars are very interesting when it comes to their life cycle. They may seem like they will live forever, but in reality, they die out really fast. You see, a star's life is compared to a human's life cycle. A pro star would be the fetus. The fusion ignition or main sequence would be infancy to adulthood. A red giant to a supergiant would be middle aged. And last but not least, a white dwarf to a black hole would be old age to death. Thank you, Bob, for that wonderful question. Here is Ben Irvin for the comparison of the sun and the stars. Thanks, Mackenzie. That was a wonderful answer. Now, here's a question from Sally from New Hampshire. She asks, What is the difference between the star, stars and the sun? Now, when you think of the sun, you probably think of a huge fiery ball. But really, stars can be bigger than the sun. Now, in a star's life, they want to achieve one goal, and that is stability, or equilibrium. Equilibrium does not mean that the star does not change. It just means that there is not an overall change. In a star that reaches equilibrium, the gas pressure pushes out from the center. Now, here's Chase Weaver with the next question and answer. Thanks, Ben. That was an awesome report. Now, here's a question from Alfred in Paris. He asked, how are stars made? Now this might seem like a long lifespan, but it's actually one-tenth of one percent of the sun's life. You see, the sun's supposed to last 10 billion years, and it's already 4.6 billion years old. So that means it's already almost halfway through its lifetime. Stars that have more mass than the sun have shorter lifetimes, like I just said. That may seem like, um, no. A low mass main sequence star uses up their fuel more slowly and eventually becomes a white dwarf. A high mass star uses up its fuel quickly after its super giant stage. It will explode as a supernova producing a neutron star or a black hole. Now let's go to Maddie for the next report. Uh, thanks Chase, that was a very long, very, 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 very long, but informational piece of stuff. <laughs> um, so here's Madison Hart with the conclusion. Thank you, Mackenzie, for that nice intro. Kimmy from Japan asked, what happens to stars after they die? Well, red giants, they become planetary nebula, which kind of floats around. And then they become white dwarfs, which are pretty small compared to the red giant. Super giants, on the other hand, turn into a whole bunch of planetary nebula, and then either a neutron star or a black hole. Thank, Thank you for watching, watching Channel 5 Starlight News. News. Now this is my shiny time. Make sure you tune in next time on Channel 5 Starlight News. Stars are interesting when it comes to the life cycle because a star's life cycle are compared to humans. You might think that stars can die. <laughs> and they can. They can and die. They, and they can die. <laughs> oh, we're going. Okay. <laughs> back back to the bloopers. Hi, this is Channel 5. Starlight News. Starlight News. <laughs> I'm here live from Pine Valley. <laughs> this interruption is brought to you by Taco Bell. What is this? <laughs> Hi, this is Channel 5 News reporting from Pine Valley. Starlight News. Hi, <laughs> Flip. Please do. So, can I have this paper? So, Chase. <laughs> Mackenzie, I'm filming. I got that whole thing. Give me the, uh, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you all, give me. The, <laughs> 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 okay. What now? <laughs> you, the screen. I'm leaving. I, I can just wipe it. There's a hair in here, too. <laughs> so. Thanks, Mackenzie. I'm here reporting from Pine and Moon Acres. Oh! What is your f***ing problem? You have five lives! Oh my god! I quit! Kimmy <laughs> oh 
from Japan wants to know what happens to stars after they die. Well, Kimmy, they either go to heaven or hell. <laughs> <laughs>